everybody, it is um, Sunday. <laughs> I never get the days right or anything like that, do I? Always end up having to put them in after. Is this ran the right way? Is this ran the right way or has mummy got it twisted? I used it for a while. I think mummy had it twisted. Oh, well. oh mummy did have it the wrong way. There we go. There we go. There we go. Strap them in. I've had this for quite a while. Oh, a long years. This is the um, summer pot. Um, high chair. Uh, well, low chair. Come on, can't get the. I can't get the um, the doofer off. It's not working. This out very well. It should make noise. It's not hard to get off. I, mean, <laughs> I just seem to be making a big deal out of it today. So little Missy here is going to have some food today. Look at those cute little teeth. Hey. And we're also, oh, I didn't bring them in. We're going to try out some dummies on you, aren't we? And um, I'm going to do the giveaway in a coffee and a chat. So this is it. It is um, a pop. I got it off of Amazon and I got it cheaper because it had a damaged box. Would you believe it? <laughs> well, there it is. I think I take that up. I think I might take that up, but... I believe that I got it. I always look at Amazon Warehouse whenever there's anything I want and see if it's going to um, see if oh, you, oh, you got your spoon. See if anything's going to, going on cheaper. If you look at Amazon, put that foot around there, Missy. If you look on Amazon um, Warehouse, um, you can sometimes get some really good deals, which I have done. So I'm going to give this lady her her um, lunch whilst I video a uh, coffee and a chat, and we do the find out who the giveaway winner is. Um, so it all folds up. It all folds up really, really small and fits in here. I bought one for Sam as well. Sam and Ben, they've got one, but it is perfect. If you don't have a lot of room and you want to be able to do some um, some feeding um, routines, it's perfect for that. I'll just try and tighten up this a bit. It's not very tight. There we go. Hopefully that's a bit better. Oh, there we go. You keep you. You gonna look at the camera? Are you gonna look at the camera? Hey, there we go. It's sunny, but it's very cold today. I just tried this dummy on Nell just um, because she was fussing a little bit. So I put this dummy in. She made a little bit of a mess. She didn't eat loads, but she is only starting out. So um, there we go. So all I've done is cut the dummy off. This is one of the ones we had for Christmas. And I love hedgehogs. You have to be really careful when you put dummies in your reborn's mouths. If that is something that you want to do, because it does, um, could rub off that paint, you know, after a long time of doing it. So, um, she's still settling in, but she's doing very well, aren't you now? Hey, she's had some water. So I, um, just been writing down, uh, let me just show you. It is the 7th of January at 11 o'clock now, um, i just show you, we had 58, 58 comments on that video. Remember, you have to comment on that video. So if you want to make sure your name is on the list, just pause it. And hopefully you will be able to see. So I had to, um, yeah, it has lots of people. Okay, I just, I like the curly perm. <laughs> that reminds me of the 70s. And whenever I read Trish Poppins, that reminds me of um, a cafe I used to go in as a kid called Poppins. 
<laughs> it was a really neat cab, um, little cafe. Probably you call it today a greasy spoon. But you could get lush big ice creams and that in it. So thank you very much. You see a lot of regular folks who leave comments here. And um, I do thank you all for supporting our channel. Right, so this is it. We had, let's go down. Colleen, I think you were the last person. Yep, 58. So we had 58 people. Oh, let's hold you up that way so you can see. 58. And, okay. All right, so I'll just remind you um, what you're what you're going for. It is. Let's just move my coffee over here. What are you all drinking? I'm still using a Christmas mug. I don't want to put the Christmas mugs away. I should, but it being seventh because it is the um, it's gone past the epiphany <laughs> when the three wise men came. So I was giving away changing bag. Um, well, it's not a change of bag. It's a mat. It's a mat the same as I've got. And if you want to see it open, I've kept it all in the bag. Um, I'll just get mine so you can see it open. I've got the eye chair up, look, for um, Emma Jane. And honestly, guys, you can't look in here because it's a right freaking mess in here. There we go. This is mine. I'm going to do a tidy up Tuesday. That's on my um, my to-do list today. And this one is mine. Open it up. And it is just like that. Ta da! There's our situation. <laughs> it is just like that so when you open it up. Perfect. And if it's not for you, you know, you're a winner and it's not for you, well, you can gift it away to somebody, can't you? It is so it was that because it was a Christmas giveaway and thought I'd do a little bit more. It is a Bambino Mayo nappy cover, size one, so it's from newborn. Um you can't really see very well. It's elephants, it's light blue with elephants on it, it's all sealed. And um it's a nappy cover, and then what you use are these to put inside. So I gave, it was a pack of three, and I think when I did the video, I said that I would be giving the other two to Sam, and that's what I did. I gave her the other two, because she uses re reusable nappies all the time for Ben. So um, it's got a boosting. This is the insert that you put inside the nappy. Um, I should have got one of those to show you if you're unsure. But those are the ones I use. I mean, if you are if you want to get them just for the reborns, right, you can get, just go into Amazon and type in nappy covers and you can get just um, cheap nappy covers, whole sets of them in different colours, all sorts. Um, all sorts of designs and things. And then I also got this, and you, can you guys remember in, what, in the video, I, I'd bought it and I showed you. And um, flipping out, it is now in the sale. I did pay full price, and you can go back on that video and check the tag is still on it. I did pay full price. It's now, I think it's £5 now. I think it's got 30% off, I think. So um, I got... Um, this one, which has got pandas on, it's cream with pandas and green bamboo shoots, newborn size. And I got it because I thought it would be gender neutrals for whoever won. The nappy is obviously for gender neutral as well. But this is just a thank you to my subscriber. So I will put that back in there in a minute when I pack it up. And then you also have got... I always like to send a coffee because I usually do it in a coffee and a chat. So that little yellow bit there you can see, I don't want to undo this, is a coffee sachet. This is a mug hug. So you put this around your mug, you keep your mug warm. As I think there's that blue one there is tea. If I'm remembering rightly, that blue one there is tea. And then you've got a coaster as well. Yeah, you've got coffee and tea because not everybody drinks coffee. That was the Christmas giveaway. So let's get back to this. 
oh, 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 so I can't, you know, I just, I like to show you the date and the time, just so you know that it's all, it's all going. So this is what we're spinning for then, folks. All right there, Missy. Are you all right? Are you watching? Are you going to watch? Are you going to listen to your mum, are you? Okay, so just to reiterate, we have got one, numbers one, to 58. Let me just take a sip of my drink. How are you all anyway? Are you all doing okay? Did you have a nice Christmas? We did. It was busy. It was busy. And um, I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit more in a minute, I think. Let's just get this because you're all waiting, aren't you? So then all we do is press spin. Hello. Who's it going to be? Who's going to be? Who's going to be the Christmas giveaway winner? Uh oh. 50. Who is number 50? Da, 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 da. Curly Perm! <laughs> Isn't that funny? Considering I said your name earlier, you, it makes me laugh. Makes me think of the 80s and 70s and 80s with Curly Perms. Curly Perm, you're a winner. I will leave all of the information in the description. You will need to contact me via um, email with a safe address for me to be able to post this to you. And if you can do it this week, that'd be great. I've got two planned visits to the post office this week one is one is tuesday and the other one is probably wednesday or thursday okay so well done let's just mark you on there curly perm is the winner of our christmas giveaway right there emily Emily heard me get excited <laughs> there we go well done everybody Thank you very much to everybody who enters. Thank you very much to everybody who always leaves comments. I am now going to put you on that tripod. Um, you're quite up high there on this tripod. But anyway, there we go. Congratulations to the winner. You all right in there? Do you want to come out? Um, yeah, I, I, it doesn't matter where you are. I post it wherever. Come on, you don't want that dum dum. Come on then. Oh, oh, she's a big girl. She's a big girl. So did anybody else get any um, new baby for Christmas? This is lovely little Noel, otherwise known as Nell. <laughs> and um, yeah, she is like unexpected, unexpected baby. Well, unplanned, because if you listen to her story, which I'll add in the description below, like my introduction to her, you'll find out all about her. I'm still a bit unsure about her eyes. I'm still not 100% sure about her eyes. And I also haven't cut her eyelashes yet, which is something else I must do. But did anybody else have a baby for Christmas? She's very cute, aren't you? You're very, very cute with your little teeth. Okay. She wears um, three to six months clothes here in the UK. Nicely, fits her nicely, three to six. Yeah, are you a happy girl? Are you a happy girl? Yeah. Beautiful hands. I know somebody commented on her hands and said that they can't stop looking at them. I know, they're amazing. She is very, very cute, aren't you? You are very, very cute. Yes. <laughs> and also, I'm not too sure about her hair. I'm not too sure if I want it to be rooted. I don't know. I don't know, there's just something that I feel, I don't know, it's maybe with a bit of hair on her. Mm. I'm very undecided, as you can tell. <laughs> Watch this space. <laughs> Watch this space, say. Anyway, 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 did you have a nice Christmas? I hope you did, because Christmas can be a difficult time. You want something to play with? Christmas can be a difficult time for all of us, every single person. Don't let them tell you, even if you enjoy Christmas, it can still be um, fraught <laughs> and tiring because of all the excitement and all the things that, you know, women normally do. I don't know what Millie's doing. I think she's sniffed a ball out under the, under the sofa. 
she's much better. She's perfectly fine. So a few people messaged me about the Christmas tree affecting their animals. So, I mean, we had a Christmas tree last year. We've had Christmas trees at the Nurk, uh, real Christmas trees at the Nurk, and we had a real Christmas tree last year. It didn't affect her then, but like I say, maybe because she's much, she is blind now, you know, that um, she could have walked into the Christmas tree and like just needs a little bit of zap or something to affect her. Uh, my middle daughter is allergic to fir trees because she's got asthma and she's allergic to fir trees. So when she was younger, we couldn't have a real tree. But um, yeah, yeah, so she is much, much better. And now she's waiting for me to go sit over on the sofa. Get up there then. But I'm not going to be sitting on the sofa with you today, Lily, because I've got to do a tidy up Tuesday. Oh my God, the nursery looks like a bomb set. The kids are trying to play in amongst all the other stuff that mum's left. <laughs> But at least in here is kind of tidy. I know the table's not, but that's because I'm filming. And um, I've also got my sewing machine out because um, Russ needs a few things, a few things on his jeans sewn. So jeans are hard. I hate sewing on jeans, hand sewing jeans. So I got my sewing machine up, which I wanted to do anyway. So that's another achievement, Caroline. Well done. <laughs> I got my sewing machine up. Um, that's great. It's up here now. Now it's going to live up here. So there we go. And then, so my plans for the new year for me, you know, all plans are are um, in pencil because of how chronic illness affects me. So all plans are in pencil. <laughs> I will have to rest in February because I'm off to see Auntie Sheena. Um, I'm up there for a few days and to go to Basildon Doll Show. Ah, oh, what are you doing at Basildon Doll Show, Caroline? Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's my birthday next week. I don't know what I'm doing at Basil and Noel show. <laughs> and um, I can see my bra showing. And while well, I wear crop tops, I don't wear bras because I hate them. But I wear little crop tops. And this one's got a racer back. So it crosses over like a racing t-shirt. I just hate being able to see it. <laughs> But at least it's white, it's not grey or or off pink, <laughs> where it's gone in with a load of, load of other clothes. Um, yes, so going up there, that's the middle of February. Um, I think the doll show is on the 18th of February. And if you want to find out about that, look up the doll show online and you'll be able to find their website. Get up, Millie. Get up. Um, so that's great and i'll get to see she now i didn't go to, didn't see her um before christmas she wasn't really feeling much like christmas this year so um as well so as much as i couldn't fit it in because i've been so blooming tired and i love having christmas and i love enjoying christmas um i didn't want to go up there and for be tiring sheena lives a five hour drive from me so i can't just go up for the day i have to i can't no longer go up just for overnight and I can't I just I just have to go up for a few days so in February I think I've got five days up in Norfolk but three days with she it's with Sheena and two days are virtually traveling days so um it usually takes me about six six and a half hours by the time I've had a breaks a break or a breaks it depends what I need so that's exciting I've got that in February um so I will need to rest for that. But the plans are today is to get the nursery back looking how it should. I have got a cot, the little, the co I've got little cots in my nursery, two little cots on wheels. And at Christmas, Jack stayed in the cot. Um, before Christmas, they came over. Yeah. And Jack's, Jack's laid in the cot anyway, slept and he, he likes that. And then we had it. Then we had him New Year's Eve um, to sleep over. So we had the cot out then, and we put it in our bedroom. And because I'm still waiting, <laughs> so that was the first day's what the seventh is it? Is it the seventh? I can't remember. Yeah, the seventh. And I still have got the cot in my room. And the reason the cot is in my room is because Millie's been sleeping. <laughs> Millie likes to sleep with her mum and her dad. I don't always like to her to sleep with me. Russ complains that he's got no room. I mean, we've got a massive bed. Russ complains he's got no room. And um, Millie just like, she has to lie right, you know, dogs what they're like. They have to literally lie, lie right next to you, don't they? And they're so heavy 
that it's like they make themselves the most heaviest when you're trying to move and get them out of the way. <laughs> and she does not want to move out of the way. So um, I spent two nights on the sofa with her um, when she's like had this allergic reaction. So I spent two nights on the sofa with her, making sure she didn't take the cone off. And by the third night, I'm like, I just want to go in my bed. And so I was like, that's it. You're going in the cot. The cot is still here because I just can't get it in the nursery <laughs> without moving a load of stuff around. And oh, I just couldn't face it after two nights on the sofa as well. So, <laughs> and Christmas, you know, everything. So um, she's been sleeping in there and... So I think I'm going to have to get a small next to me because she sleeps in there perfectly. Whereas in her bed at night, she's in and out of her bed and up and down. She keeps coming to my side of the bed and wants to get up in bed with me. And I feel so sorry for her because she is old. She's like 13, almost 14, 14 next month. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to see if there's anyone giving away a next to me free. But I only want a small one. Small. Because <laughs> if not... The cot will have to stay there for a bit longer, but she, yeah, she just goes to sleep in it. And it's just like, oh my God, Millie, what you like? But it's better than pushing against your mum and waking your mum up all night. What do you want? You want your tummy? So there we go. That is my plan for today, is to get that done. Honestly, I say it's bad, but it is not. It's been worse. All right? Is it all right? I say it's bad. It really isn't. I, it has been worse. I know you wanted a toy just now, didn't you? And I didn't give you one. Um, I've been quite good since the last tidy up Tuesday, moving stuff, putting stuff away as I've got it out, but not over Christmas. <laughs> but the good thing about Christmas was, all the Christmas clothes, is they're in a big bag. And so I just like get the bag, unzip the bag, put the bag on the floor and just keep changing them out, in and out of the bag. And then this time around, the bag has gone in a clear box and gone in the garage. So it's no longer underneath one of the um, cots that's gone in the garage because I'm do putting my Christmas village... Oh, you don't want that. Down in um, Hillside. Do you want to play it in? Down in Hillside, I'm going to set it all up down there. I want it out all the time. It's just I didn't get it out this year because I was just too tired. too tired to get it out up for a few weeks and then put it down again. And I love it. And so I said to Russ, do you know what? When I sort Hillside out this spring, I'm going to actually set it up all, up all along the top of these big metal cabinets I've got down there. I'm going to move the stuff from up there because those cabinets are being moved. And um, it's going to be less crafty space down there and more just relaxing space with my prams out where I can see them better because that's why I buy them is because I can look at them and enjoy them and love them and that's what I was going to do first of all down there but then it's like got a bit like crazy with me like oh I like that I like that I like that I'm filling up your side <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do that can you play with that that's what shake 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 what does the cow say he says mmm <laughs> so yeah um so those are my plans you know and they're always penciled in depending on how i feel and it it doesn't all get done in a day that well the nursery will get done today it will be done today that video will be up on tuesday so it will be done today because i don't like to see stuff all over the floor <laughs> i made some room and got um the ride-ons and that put on a shelf. So I made some room for that. And then I just like filled it up. But I did bring a walker up from down in Hillside. The little baby walker that I've got. And put Jack in that. Oh my God, he looks so cute. I'm going to show you a picture now. Look at him. Isn't he just the most adorable little boy? Ah, I love him. So you should see that picture. Grandma stuff, you know, all grandma stuff for babies come in very, very handy. I was going to get a high chair for home, but I'm not going to do that now. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I mean, when they come for Sunday lunch, Jackie's going to want to sit up with us, isn't he? You can't sit in that because um, it doesn't, doesn't go on a chair. 
just get something that goes on a chair. Mm. We've got a cushion over there that is like a cushion, but that won't hold him. And he's, you know, he's obviously little, isn't he? I don't know. He might have to get a high chair. Which is something that I did want to get, but I don't want a big, like, massive, like, high chair. And I also don't want a high chair from, I mean, they're really cheap, from um, Ikea, because they're just, they don't fold up. They, you can take the legs of apart. I usually can't be asked to do that. <laughs> I don't know. I might end up just getting one of those and taking it apart and keeping it on a shelf. I don't know. I haven't made my mind up yet, but that is the cheapest option to do. I mean, I don't need a great fangled thing here. He might come here once a week, if that. So, yeah. Oh, I hear a motorbike. I think Grumpy Grumpy Grumpy's home. Us has been out with his mate this morning. It's a bit early for him to be home. To be a neighbour, I don't think I can't hear the garage door going up, so I've got to clean my windows as well. My windows, mm. they look rather dirty, so that's not a big job. I only have like a scraper thing. That's a job to go on my list for the week. So, um, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, Jack. Jack is using Grandma's stuff. That's good. That's a good excuse when Grandma wants something. Oh, but Jack will love that. Jack needs that. We need one of these for home for Jack. <laughs> That's a good excuse now, don't I? We all know what Grumpy's been like with me having stuff. Although, since we moved here, he's been a lot better. And, and honestly, he cannot say anything with the size of his garage. So he cannot say anything about your mummy's stuff. No, he cannot. Is it getting time for your bop bop? Eh? Is it getting time for your bop bop? You probably need a bum, don't you? And a, a bum doing and a bop bop. Yeah. Yeah. You're so cute. You are. Mm. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Thing is, once I sit on the sofa, that's it. I'm not going to want to move. I know that. <laughs> so I dare to sit down. <laughs> oh, my days. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Thank you for the... Um, Happy wedding anniversary wishes you gave us. That's really kind of you. Thank you very much. It's been strange this year not going to um, Scotland. We've always gone to Scotland after Christmas. And in fact, I think there was only, there's only been like the odd couple of years that we haven't done it in our whole time together. One is, I think it was because I was working, teaching, and I could only go in February half term. My girls were small, so I was stay at home for Christmas with them. Smaller. Um, and that was one time I remember. And then another time we went to the only fancy holiday Russ and I have been on is the Dominican Republic. That is it. That was early on in our marriage. Russ absolutely hated it. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> I couldn't do it now. It's too hot. There's no way. And all that tra traveling and that. So I'm glad I did it there. And all that flying and everything. I couldn't do it now. You know, it's just an, uh, an opportunity that I took at the time. And that was it. Never to be repeated. <laughs> it was a fantastic holiday. Real great adventure. Um, what else did we do? Oh, yeah, we did have an extravagant holiday, actually, on our wedding, on our 10th wedding anniversary. And our 50th birthdays, we did a tour of Scandinavia, um, Norway, which is, um, I took Harry to the Arctic Circle. I think that's the title of the video. Um, we did this big tour. It was it was great. It was a massive adventure. It was brilliant. But the traveling was just horrendous. Horrendous. I mean, it's just like a load of, you know, it was the boys in their four by fours. And they needed, if you go on the, these trips on a four, in your four by four, you need a spare driver in case anything happens to you as the driver. So, you know, me and Russ were like, yeah, but Russ wanted to do it. And I was like, yeah, I'll do that then. We'll do that for our 50th and that's it, you know. It was a good adventure to go to Norway and um, Sweden and Finland. So that was great. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty, that was expensive. And mostly because of the cost of the fuel, 
that was expensive um and all the kit we needed because we were like you know going in the arctic circle so we needed all these thermals and yada yada and we were on the road so there weren't a lot of washing facilities so we mostly washed stuff and if we stayed somewhere we placed it all out on the heated floors or all over the radiators or something like that um yeah so now i'm very you know we, that's what we've got to do we don't like wearing the same clothes over and over um but mostly we go to Scotland after Christmas um, for the new year. Um, but yeah, so it's been very different this year not doing that. And I'm glad. And Russ is actually glad. It's been nice for him to spend some time at home um, over Christmas, over the Christmas period. And I don't know, since we've moved here, it's not like we want to get away so much. Oh, I've got eyelash now in the eye. It's not like we want to get away so much. Um, when we were at the Nook and we had the camper, we both always wanted to like go away. I don't really know why that was because it was a nice house. I moved in there with Russ. It never really felt like my house. Russ had owned that house since he was 18. So it definitely was felt more like his house. And um, it was a little cottage when he bought it at 18 and, and built the extension on later on when he was about 30, I think. Um, I don't know, just moving here has just like been completely different for us both. So it's far more relaxing and yeah, and I just don't want to do all, I just, I don't know, I just don't want to do all the traveling and things. No, I just don't do that. Um, the end of February, my eldest daughter and her wife and Jack are all going over to Ireland to see my middle daughter. And um, I was meant to be going. But what we were going to do was drive up um, to the uh, um, shortest ferry crossing, which is in Scotland, uh, just in Scotland, just and um, and cross over and go that way. Um, and I just was like, do you know what? I really don't want to do the driving. I really, really don't want to do that driving I would obviously I'd love to go and but it's just just too much the whole journey is just too much I don't even know not even now just talking about it I'm just like oh no just the thought of it even now so it turns out because we'd also have to take both dogs because it would be for two weeks if you're going to do a ferry journey you have you know it's going to be longer like the traveling up is going to be two days yada 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 so um I said you know what I'm not going to go I'll have the I'll have your dog and um, you just go and so they've decided to fly over now so they're going for a week um, that'd be better for them as well with Jack to fly over won't take so much time for them too much journey time so that's good that's nice but see I can even the thought of doing that I I'm quite happy to the airport for us is about an hour's drive away just over about an hour and 15 minutes so I could go to the airport, Bristol Airport, and fly over and see Kerry in Ireland, which is what I will be doing. Because um, I miss her already. I saw her at the beginning of uh, December, but I miss her already. It's horrible when your kids grow up and move away. <laughs> so that's more plans. And then Sheila and I are going to have a holiday in the summer, uh, in June, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Toes crossed. That works out. So we've got like all sorts of plans coming up, which is nice. You have to make some sort of plan so that life is not just a day, samey day in, day out. It's nice to have some plans. Um. So yeah, talking about like the girls growing up and leaving home and like missing Kerry and all that. Thank you for putting up with me over Christmas. <laughs> I miss doing all those little Christmas events with my children. I really miss that. And this year, I think next year I'm not going to do anything in December. I'm just going to do Christmas. Because I was too tired to go to um, the church crib event. I was too tired to do that. Too tired to go to the Christmas market. So I'm just like thinking this December. And I'm not going to do much more than just Christmassy things in December because I miss doing all of that so thank you very much for putting up with my videos once a night <laughs> almost didn't quite get there all the time but mostly um because it helps me 
I have like deep rooted loneliness um, that is like from being in foster care and things like that as a child. So I have deep seated loneliness that people around me just cannot fulfill that because it's too much, um, very too deep. It's, and it's not mine, it's, it's uh, Carly's. It's the child, the young child in me. So, um, and then all of the other things like, I didn't make a Christmas cake this year, but I decorated one, didn't we? <laughs> that was very nice, actually. But before I've made Christmas cakes and decorated them with the littles. Um, but decorating it is fine. I have not got a problem with that. I didn't have, you know, the energy to do that. And that's absolutely fine. Mother-in-law made me Christmas pudding, so that was fine as well. Um, you know, I... I did what I could, what I could. I didn't do all that I wanted. And of course, that is okay, <laughs> too. Um, yeah. It's time for a new year now, and no new energy has availed me. <laughs> and I don't make New Year's resolutions. I just make tentative plans. <laughs> such as where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do, and the tentative plans, you know. I wanted to do this video and clean the nursery yesterday, but I sat on the sofa, Poirot was on all day, and I just sat there and watched that and played with Millie and talked to Russ and played with the babies and lay in front of the fire and did nothing <laughs> apart from tea. <laughs> No, we went out yes we went out for a little bit of shopping and a costa that's it oh i know why i did that mo you are very naughty saying that they had 70 percent off in sainsbury's there was nothing good in my sainsbury's and <laughs> they got me out my chair out my comfy space to go do that no i needed some shopping anyway and sainsbury's is our closest store so typical one of the most expensive ones but hey ho um Yes, so that is going to have to be done today now because I really do want to get it done because it's it's annoying me. So when things annoy me, then they have to get done. And then, like I say, then it'll be the nursery. Uh, no, the nursery's today. Then it'll be hillside. But I can just do a little bit of that at a time. Once I get going, it'll be fine. Um, out tomorrow is Monday. I'm out tomorrow. I'm out on Tuesday. And I'm out on Wednesday because Wednesday's my birthday. And I'm out on Thursday. Friday, I'm going to be dying on the sofa. So I really, really need to get that done today so that um, I've got energy for all my visits and that this week. Yeah. See? What do you think about that then? She says Nellie's settling in very well, aren't you? See? Oh, and thank you to Tracy. And somebody else, and I'm sorry, I've forgotten what your name is on um, YouTube, but um, Tracy sent me the manual for the Mirage, the Mother Care Mirage, and so does somebody else send me um, some photo, some screen grabs of, of what I was trying to do, put it down, and where the clip is, and everything and I have to lie the seat down and it does come with a rain cover so who said that Sarah I think you said that it does come with a rain cover so thank you for everybody for um your input on that I don't think I've worried about a rain cover really because I've got the foot muff oh that was it a screen grab of the foot muff I think was how to put up the foot muff to make it smaller because apparently it's supposed to go from newborn but it doesn't lie flat it lies right back but it's not flat so, <laughs> I don't know if it does go from newborn, it's supposed to. But anyway, there we go. So that was the recent video I did, wasn't it? When we put you in there, put you in that push chair, didn't we? And we showed everybody, hey, Annie's signing it now. She is, Annie's signing it. Yes. Anyway, congratulations to, oh, where are we? We're over here. Congratulations to Curly Perm, 59. Um, you need to email me, uh, carolinereborngnight at gmail.co.uk. Well, I don't know if it's .com or .co.uk, but whatever it is, I'll put it in the description of this video anyway. So I'm going to leave it there and say thank you very much for watching. This is a long one, I know. So I hope 
probably won't get one out tomorrow, but Tuesday will be the tidy up Tuesday. Unless I fall over and break my leg or something right now. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.